Jason leaves Detroit at 2 p.m. and drives at a constant speed west along I-96. He passes Ann Arbor 40 miles from Detroit at 2.50 p.m. So first thing we should do is maybe draw a picture. Okay, so let's say that this is 2 p.m. Okay, so he leaves Detroit at 2 p.m. Then he passes Ann Arbor 40 miles. So let's say that if this is 2 p.m., then this is 2.50 p.m. So this is Detroit. This is Ann Arbor. Now, I'm drawing a picture because I think it's important that you do that. Um, and a lot of these problems. So painting a picture is a great idea. So if we say that he's leaving Detroit at zero, zero, okay, well, we have to label what zero, zero actually means. So since we're dealing with time and distance, we can say that T represents the time elapsed. in hours and we can say that D represents the distance traveled in miles so if they're starting at zero zero that means that time is equal to zero and the distance is traveled to zero and so now we need to figure out, okay, what is the ending time and the ending distance? Well, we already know what the distance is. We know that at 40 miles represents the distance. Now we need to figure out what the time is. So what is the time? Well, the time... traveled from 2 p.m. to 2.50 p.m. is 50 minutes. And so we want to convert this to hours. So we know that we have one hour per 60 minutes. So if we want to convert this into hours, then that's going to be 50 over 60 and we can reduce that to 5 over 6 hours. So that means at this point is going to be 5 over 6. Okay, and now we want to express the distance traveled in terms of the time elapsed. So what we can do is we can find the slope. So we can take this is distance 1, this is time 1, this is distance 2, and this is time 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to take distance 2 and subtract distance 1 over time 2 minus time 1. So we have 40 minus 0 divided by 5, 6 minus 0. So that means we have 40 over 1 divided by 5 sixths. So that means we got 40 over 1 times 6 over 5. So that gives us 48. So we can say that D is going to equal 48 times t. So that is expressing distance traveled in terms of time elapsed. So therefore there is our expression or equation. Okay, so now we want to be able to graph our function which is d is equal to 48t. We can either put it in Desmos but we're going to have a linear function that's passing through the origin. So remember that this represents 0, 0, and this line represents 
the equation from part A. So now this last part is asking us, what is the slope of this line and what does it represent? Well, we know that from the equation that the slope is 48, which is what we found, and it's going to represent, it represents the car speed in miles per hour.